Hello everybody, this is Tony Callis. I'm located here at Ellen Engineering at their uh, machining facility. It's a very professional building and company where you can get Porsche parts, and mainly engine parts, um, deep sumps, IMS bearings, drain, magnetic drain plugs, etc. So I'm prepping our race cars. We're headed up to Road America, which is about two hours away from here, a nice convenient location. And I noticed that the front brakes on one of our cars, the rotors were starting to crack. So I wanted to kind of walk you through what we do when we replace the rotor and or the hat. The fans usually don't get replaced. The, the wheel studs get replaced. Usually annu annually, it depends on, on the, how many times the wheels come on and off and, and the lug nuts get replaced more often. The wonderful Brembo brake calipers, which are amazing, and the brake pads. You see the thickness of those, of those factory pads from TRD. We force a lot of air through these rotors. Uh, one of the critical things that most brake rotors have alike, as far as at least on race cars, is the internal vanes. They're ventilated rotors. So what they like to do is they run it from the inside of the rotor and force it out the back, out the outside circumference. These veins are angled out. As the rotor is turning this direction, it's forcing the air out through the center of the rotor. I have some heat temp paint on here uh, to see what temperature it gets to. It depends on the color. And then I have a legend card I can put up next to it to compare to see what temperature the rotor got to. Okay, so I'll take you here to a new rotor and a cracked used rotor. Now these aren't really that bad. I'll give you a little idea of, of the cracks, but they're mostly superficial and surface. But we like to stay on top of, of our houring of the parts, uh, how many hours or, or races the parts have on them. We pay attention to the hats. In this case, it's, uh, these are, are simpler than most. I'm gonna have to let go of the camera here for a second. Most brake hats have bobbins in between the hat and the rotor, and they have slots in them that have to go a certain direction of travel. These fasteners should be replaced when you're loosening them. Another thing I like to do when I take it apart is I like to put it in a solvent tank and clean the components. And it helps me look for cracks, look for any imperfections. When you wash parts in a true solvent tank, I would let them dry and then look for any solvent that's coming out of a crack. It's a good way, nice and really simple way of looking for a crack. Another thing, and that's not, that's not absolutely the correct way to do it, but, um, Another thing you can do is knock it against the ground. You hear that ring? That'll tell you that it's pretty much not cracked. I'm not saying you don't have a very small crack, but I can tell you that with your visual inspection of looking for solvent and um, coming out of a, a crack or a crevice and, um, and that knock test, that's a, a pretty good if you have good eyes, that's a pretty good way of telling. Okay, so, uh, and by the way, that knock test of knocking against the floor works with flywheels and crankshafts also, but I'm not telling you that's the absolute best way to do it. All right, I hope that helps you guys or somebody, and uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you.